All right, hello my loyal royal subjects. It is I, Queen Navy, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're hopping right back into our creative world, and we're going to... Actually, <laughs> I know we were supposed to build the cafe together, but me and a friend actually just got on the server, and we just started talking and chatting. So I actually built um, the cafe and pretty much have it decorated and everything. So now we're just going to <gasps> take it all in. Okay, and as you can see behind me, there are some things that have changed since the last time you saw it. Let's dive in deeper. Okay, so first and foremost, we've got some texturing going on. So I just got some sandstone brick. Um, using one of the mods I can't remember which one it is I think it might be the Fure builder mod where it's like a lot of blocks and you know kind of dotted those all over just to make it not such a solid flat um, thing uh, space and then you know it just the different texture just makes it more realistic and makes it come to life we have named our cafe um, cafe de Champ Fleur. I don't know if um, guys remember that or not from the last video i think we did it in the last video but you know and now we're in our cafe and i wanted to keep it small and like i said i don't want it to feel bakery per se i want it to feel very bready so i might change this to a different um item that's out like actually as a matter of fact let me go show you where i pulled from to make some of these accents and things but yeah this is a cafe it's a small space but I think that's what adds to the quaintness. It's very cute. Got the dark oak tables. We got a lot of frames and posters and bo you know boards. Had these chalkboards here because I envision like you. This is where you put like the menu or whatever. The stoves, sink here, and then this is actually a typewriter, but it looks like a register. So I thought that was cute. And then these display cases are actually from the cluttered mod. I just think it fits really well here. You're probably going to see this design a lot because, um, you know, it just suits really well for a bakery, a cafe, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I might actually make a separate bakery because I always end up doing this. This is this tile I thought fit the cafe feeling because I wanted it to be light. I didn't want it to be like wood and stuff. I feel like I'm going for a very light palette. Yeah, this feels too bakery-like, so I think I might take this. It's a sweet mini table. I think I might take this off and do some bread. So let's go over to our build palette over here. And look at, see, these are the things I had to choose from. Oh, which reminds me, I need to get the coffee maker. And then we need to put, like, plates and stuff on here just to add a little bit more extra decor. I think I might put the bread basket as the item that we have on display these are the cabinets and things I was going to go with, uh, but I ended up going for that granite in there because I just felt like it was much more suited to um, the vibe that I was going for. But we do use it just right here, just to kind of blend in with that dark oak at, and add some warmth to the space. So I think if I add this bread here, yeah, it's, that's a little bit better. It, that feels a little more like cafe feeling versus like whole like a uh, you know what am I trying to say it feels more cafe than say you know the cake that felt like it was leaning too close to the the bakery side or we might even we might even change that to being like a vase of flowers or something I don't know I feel like that needs to be like a display item I just haven't nailed it yet okay just putting those items away and then we're gonna dot these decor items around I might even change it to one of these breads here so that's why I have them out to kind of just see which what kind of bread I'm, I have working with you know and then this coffee cake is a little too big but you know I just like that you can eat the cake <laughs> okay so definitely want to add some sandwiches Gotta have a croissant because that's just so cafe. Um, and I think the muffin. And then we need, of course, the coffee cups. And then we need the place setting. Okay. So let's just kind of dot these around. So I think 
there's nothing that says cafe like a croissant right here just you know and then we'll add like a, a mug and that just screams yes it just screams cafe to me okay and then some place settings you know just dot those around as well um and then we can put a sandwich here so cute and we're gonna put some on this table as well let's do a muffin here um we'll do another sandwich here and then we'll just leave that like that we'll do muffin here coffee cup coffee cup that's good there and then let's do a place setting here and a croissant here oops and I believe these are directional so you can always you know um, you know rotate around and see what you prefer yep they're directional so uh, you can always like oh I want it to face this way or that way so you know choose what you want and I like to just get an overview and see, you know, if I need something else. I think we'll switch out um, this coffee cup for a full place setting. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then we got our coffee machines here. I might even want to double up on this maybe and put another one right here. It just feels like, you know, it needs to be more than one. And we have a, a stove right here. So I don't know if I want to switch that up yet. Um, and then I believe in our cookery one, we have some other options we can do. Or we can do like the extra delight and do one of these spice racks. That could be a good look for us. Spice rack because, you know, it might look like mix-ins for the coffee or something. I think that's okay um and since it's it's hanging above the the this so i think it'll be fine there um let's see what else would we want to do here there's like step stools which i think is cute um now i need the cooking oh i, I went too fast it's like over here somewhere there it is moa and there is a hanging mug situation yes hanging mugs i just think it really oh didn't mean to just yeah that just adds to like that cafe aesthetic right did you just expect like mugs and things this looks really cute this is really nice um it's a small space but i feel like we did a lot with it um and that's what matters the most you know and I feel like you could just walk up here order something and yeah it's really cute okay so that is pretty much it like I said it's pretty much plain I did the way I did the roof um, was I wanted it kind of squash because I didn't want it super duper tall um, and when I had it like a taller roof it just looked weird proportionally to the building itself so I wanted it something something a little more squash and squished. I think it came out nice. It's very simple, flat roof, um, but I think that's okay. And then um, I don't, you probably couldn't tell, but there is actually like like one of this space upstairs. So if I ever wanted to add on to it or expand or do something different, I could actually create another room up there which I'm not quite sure what I want it to be yet. So that's why it's just empty. And so our next order of business is to start building, you know, more and more. So I can't decide if I want to build like across the street from here or right next door, but I know what I want to build. Now let me ask you something. What is best to go with a cafe? Well, in my opinion, it's a bookstore and not just any bookstore, a corner bookstore. Yes. Now that's going to be pretty challenging for me because I don't really build, you know, like different orientations a lot. <laughs> so but I just really wanted to do something where it felt like a corner 
bookstore it wrapped around it had that cozy vibe um maybe i don't want it to be super dreary but it's gonna it's gonna kind of you know teeter on that balance so i'm not really sure if i want it to be right next door to our cafe or if i want the bookstore to be across the street so let me know what you guys think in the comments um and then we'll you know we'll decide on where we're going to place it but for now we are going to select our bib palette okay and uh yeah <laughs> so we're gonna do our build palette and i have been really i've really liked this little corner here but i think it's time for us to just say goodbye so we can have room for other stuff and if i just expand over here it's just gonna be way more to clean up so let's just x all this out and get started i hate when i do that and just get started but yeah so like i said i'm really thinking for the bookstore i want it to have like a cozy vibe i want it to feel um very warm and exciting and um well not exciting but inviting there we go i was like that's not the word i'm looking for <laughs> inviting um and just like that typical almost uh, classic look i guess uh depending on like different regions and stuff it just has that kind of aesthetic just that you know it when you see it right and when i think of that aesthetic i tend to think of the color green so that is kind of what i'm thinking will be so for our um i'm actually thinking that the the awning itself will be green um and i actually wish they had something other than um oh you know what if i do a short stripe i can do because i think green and black would be really good for a bookstore or um or if we don't do that style we can do these we could do these so i'm gonna just set this down so I, my brain remembers that that's what i was going for so i definitely want to do an on uh, uh ooh, an awning and i definitely want it to be like green and black i think that would be really cool um it that eh, you know for bookstore and then bookstores i just feel like bookstores have to be brick um but we have a lot of brick type blocks to play with so that is what's going to be like key for us it's like nailing down oh this is a gorgeous green brick oh my goodness i don't know what i'm going to use this for but i like it okay i'm just gonna set this green brick down no clue <laughs> but i liked that okay let's do brick again and let's just see what we what we see here um you know of course i i'm in my head i'm leaning towards like that traditional red brick um you know color this mixed brick i think will work really well and let's see what other types of bricks oh i really like this silt and i think the silt is all is always a nice choice I just don't want it to feel like Starbucks. <laughs> but then again, it is a bookstore, so maybe that's okay. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> um, we could even go for this limestone. I think that would be a good look. And, oh man, I have so many different choices and selections. It's hard to, you know, choose. I think we've settled on some good ones for now. And if I don't like it, then, you know, we'll just pick something else um so that we have that as an option and let's just build up you know some kind of two by two or something we have the silt oops silt as an option and then we have limestone as an option oh that limestone connects i don't know if i like that huh okay maybe not the limestone i didn't i don't know oh that's because it's dawn of time limestone so it's not it's not uh metal limestone won't connect like that and i think that one's okay dawn of time so that's also a new mod that we added yes we added more mods because i am just like kind of going overboard i'm not gonna lie i just i love them so much so we added two new mods actually we had macaw windows um which that's because i wanted curtains 
And I, I just, you know, I wanted curtains because I felt like it would add to that the cafe vibe. So we have curtains on these windows here. And that is from the Macaw Windows mod. Which, if you are into mod at Minecraft, I feel like everyone knows Macaw. Uh, but I will go over those as well. So let's just do this limestone here. Okay. Interesting. I think the blocks have a, a unique uh, texture pattern. That's okay, though. It's not as jarring as the one, the other connected ones. So I think that'll be fine. So these are our options for our bookstore as far as the walls go. And we could even do an accent wall. So I'm, I'm, I'm we can even do double thick walls if we want to get that deep. So I'm, I'm totally open to that. I do feel like we need to have some element of exposed brick in our bookstores. Now, to go over the mods that we added. Uh, oh, there it goes. Macaw windows. Just window blocks. Um, pretty straightforward. Also has these parapets. Um, shutters. And, you know, these are also considered windows as well. And then um, they have these mosaic glass options, which I think will look really well um, in something like a library. So it's different from a bookstore. But, I mean, it also could look good in the bookstore as well. But that's not the vision I'm having for this. And then, of course, you have shutters, you have um, the curtains, and then you have more windows. And they're like single pane windows. Okay. And then, of course, we have our Dawn of Time, which is, I think, back here somewhere. Oh, okay. This is Dawn of Time. So Dawn of Time is really cool in that it has blocks that um, lend themselves to particular styles, right? And so this is a French style. And so they have these blocks because, you know, it gives you that feeling from that time frame. Um, and we'll probably most definitely be using a lot of these in the near future since I'm kind of leaning in a French in some way like Italian-esque influenced buildings and such. Um, and it may be even Victorian. Like it's going to be like a hodgepodge a little bit, uh, but very European. Okay. Um, but cottagecore, <laughs> these are German, um, inspired blocks. I like these a lot as well. Um, especially the flowing water. I think that's really neat. And the planters in the ivy are also great as well. Actually, I might throw a planter in that cafe. Well, I don't, don't want to overload it, but <laughs> it's such a small cafe, but you know. Okay. Then we have Japanese style. Excellent. I'm really excited to play around with this. Um, you know, I feel like, yes, I'm leaning towards a certain style for the mo majority of my build. But I think just having like an area that's super like Japanese and just Asian inspired will really go a long way. And it will add some kind of variance to what the town will, you know, look like. And I think, um, you know, it's okay if there's a few builds here and there they kind of stick out to you you know i i enjoy that um so there's a lot of different blocks um all these different decorated uh, cups and stuff i think they're going to be so amazing i think they're going to be so cute so great um so i can't wait to build something in this style okay and then we also have persian um and though th this just has like a lot of mosaic tiles and then there's pre-columbian um, I don't know if we'll be touching too many of these blocks, except for maybe these red ones, just because, or, you know, they're kind of out there and very bright. Um, and then Roman, these might get used more only because, like I said, there's going to be, um, like Italian influences. So Roman, you know, it'll, it'll mesh well, I think with what I'm trying to do. So I can definitely see um, these being used more as well. Uh, and I really like the aesthetic of this. So, yeah. So um, they have a Discord and they have all these different things where you can link up to them, their Patreon, this, that, and the third. So, yeah. I really like this um, mod and I think that it does what sometimes you can't find this, especially all the different cultures that are get represented. 
you just really don't find that much in other mods. You really find only one type of style or something that's pulled from like other games. And I like the fact that you can get multiple cultural significant like block styles and things. Especially if you're that kind of builder where you want to experiment with all that kind of stuff. So I just think it was it's neat. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna build our bookstore here and we need to think about everything that that's going to entail. Might need to make these three high now that I think about it. Oops. Just because I might be hanging some stuff. I just keep doing that, huh? On top of this, so we might need it to be a little higher. Okay. So there's that. I want to see, what does this plant look like? Oh, yeah. If not the, we probably, this probably would look well in the bookstore. Let's just have it hanging out, you know? Uh, and do that. Ooh. <laughs> Let's take a break really quick because I want you guys to see what my friend made. So, you know, that I wasn't kidding. So, she made a house over here. She's not done. Um, she just was, like, whacking around when running blocks. She was like, I never use pink. So, um, and, you know, we're kind of, she's kind of going for, I think she's going for, like, a more cutesy style, which, you know, I do like. Um, she's using, it's very pink. I was like, is this a dream house? <laughs> um, oops. It's very pink, but I like it. But yeah, she doesn't like how small it is, which is hilarious because um, for some people, this is like a decent size, right? Like you're like, oh, this is a nice size house. Looks cute. No, for my friend, this is very small because we usually build really big buildings. <laughs> Even when we try to be small, it's just really big. Look at her cute little kitchen with the little pie inside. This is so cute. Um, and then you come up here, and I don't think she's done yet. Uh, I think this might end up being, like, a bedroom or something. I'm not sure. And I thought she made, like, an add-on, but maybe, uh, oh, Lord, I, sometimes I just have the hardest time. Oh, that's what I'm seeing on the side. This, this area pushed out. So, I was telling her, oh, look, she has, like, a foundation block, and then, yeah. I was telling her that... She should just build another addition on the side if she feels like it's not enough um, room. Or she can even build something in the back or maybe add a tower or something. So she feels like it's kind of small. Like you can easily just add another addition right here on the side. Uh, I think it'll be fine. She'll just have to build out the terrain a bit. But, you know, I think she'll be okay. So back to our... Um, bookstore building okay so we there's a lot that we have to kind of decide on um and then we need of course you need the books for the bookshelves and one thing i love about all these mods is that like they have not just different variants of bookshelves but they have a lot of like, like piles of books and stackable books and things like that so, we have a lot to work with. Um, oh, these are so cute. We're just going to grab a couple of these because, or all of these. And because we just need, you got to think, in a bookstore, in, in a library, in all of that kind of situation, there's like all different kinds of genres of books. Um... We need to see what these look like against all these backdrops. That's a smart thing. But, yeah, there's all different kinds of genres of books. Um, and it's important to... Oh, I like those. It's important to kind of show that, you know? Um, so, that's what I, I'm hoping to do. Yeah. So, yeah, these will probably all be featured. And then, of course, the actual bookshelves themselves you got your traditional the oak ones but they also have them in just like the different wood textures which i i am trying to go for a dark and they're since they're in the different wood textures they also have a different like book texture if that makes sense um so that's something else to take note of 
I can't decide if I want the shelves themselves to be dark or like how dark of a tone am I going for, you know? Um, it would be interesting to see if it's possible to mix and match um, like bookcases and colors and things. I wonder if that's something that would look okay. Um, but I really like a couple of these a lot. I like the jade. I do. Um, I like the, the spruce up here. And let's see. Some of these are really interesting. <laughs> um, and you have to keep in mind, like, depending on what you pick, it just has to all look right nestled together, you know? And that's, like, what the tricky thing becomes. It's like, what does it look like nestled together? Um, okay. Let's just look at these. And then we have the chisel bookshelves. We have these um, blue, regal, and wooden. They, like, stand on their own. There's, they're a little bit different of aesthetic. Which, granted, I could also implement as well. So... Let's see what the bookshelves look like. These are the jade. I think those look very studious. I like those. Um, these are spruce. I like the spruce. I think it gives you that dark tone that I was talking about. And then these are the birch. The birch is brighter. There's also like flowers and stuff interspersed with that. I think that that style might not mesh exactly with um, what I'm hoping for with this palette so we'll have to you know we'll have to see but yeah so we're you know this is kind of what we're going for with that and then of course um we're going to be using lots of glass so we're going to be using the connected glass and we want it to be clear now the thing is do you do i want like white glass i want light gray you know, I don't know. I think probably light gray glass panes just because it just makes it easier. Like, look at that. You can clearly see right into it. Well, I don't know. It'll, it'll kind of depend on the shop because white might also look nice too. Matter of fact, can I get, okay, what does white look like? It's a little cloudy um, in comparison. It is a little cloudy in comparison. Why can't I build that on top? Okay. So that's white. And then what's another color that would look clear enough? But uh, Oh, we could just do plain, like the clear glass, glass paint, which, uh, no. There's a clear, like, clear, clear glass pane. There we go, clear. But we might like the little ticks. I'm not sure. The ticks kind of give it, like, a nostalgic feel. So maybe. Like, that's just plain. I don't know how to feel. I feel like this makes it cozier is having, like, the little ticks let's just see what the clear glass pane with the little i call them little ticks but you know these little i don't know shine markers or something it just makes it feel more nostalgic so i don't know we might go for those or we might eschew that entirely and go for um and i also this is another reason why i wanted the macaw window is to go for one of these um paint windows because they do have like paint windows and other mods but they don't have glass in them and i wanted the ones that have glass in them so if we do that i am leaning <laughs> i'm leaning towards um either like a dark oak or maybe even um like a dark oak or a spruce i think would be most ideal for this and I just can't remember if I wanted the red singles or this or these like four pane uh, and then the spruce okay let me see so 
uh, let, and let's do it over here. So this is what the four pane looks like, which that fills bookstore. It just it does. Um, and this is what the rectangles look like. Um, I think I might like the four pane. I'm not sure. Um, I almost want to have more space because you almost can't see it good enough. There you go. So, that's what we got to work with. I like it. I actually like it a lot. So, um, and then let's just switch this for the spruce so we can see the difference. Well, I like the spruce too. So, that's the main thing. Gotta keep the main thing the main thing. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I think we'll fuss about more in the interior and all that kind of stuff later. But this is kind of what I'm thinking. So, let me know in the comments uh, you know, like what brick do you prefer? Do you prefer this mixed brick, this silt brick, or the limestone brick? And then, um, if you also have other opinions about the, the bookshelf or like if, you know, spruce or dark oak, all that kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below. And then, yeah, we'll be, we'll add on more to the trinkets and doodads later on. Okay. But this is going to, but yeah, this is going to bring me to the end of the video. I just wanted to show off the cafe build. And I also wanted to make sure that um, you guys got to see, you know, just an update on what I'm doing. And I also wanted your feedback because we're going to make our corner bookstore. And it's going to be amazing. But I need advice, okay? So stick tuned, stick around, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye.